So I see some teams, they get really excited about discovery. They want to talk to a customer every day. They want to draw experience maps till the end of time. And they don't ship anything, <laughs> ever, right? Okay, that's not good. Like, we're not doing research because research is fun. It is fun, right? Um, but that's not why we're doing it. So I think one thing I like to see is I want to see a continuous cadence of putting things in the world. So if a team is stuck, if they're going three, four weeks, this is going to depend on your delivery environment. But if you regularly ship on a weekly basis and a team is new to discovery, if they're suddenly going three or four weeks and they, so, so they stopped shipping things, we have a problem. The fastest way to kill momentum for discovery in your organization is to stop delivery, right? That's going to kill everything right away. So that's one end of the spectrum. I see some teams um, get really excited, they dive too far, and they stop shipping things. The other end of the spectrum is they go, OK, I read the book. I talked to some customers. This is the one problem we should solve. This is the absolute best solution. There are no assumptions. It's perfectly safe. I checked all the boxes. I did my discovery. Let's build it, right? And then what happens? We fall short of our expectations, as the vast majority of our solutions do. And then we don't reflect and say, how could we have learned that sooner? And that's two very opposite ends of the spectrum. They're really common in the beginning.